<laughs> Bro, what the fuck? This is... Dude, where... Oh my god, I'm getting hit! <laughs> Dude, wait. Guys, we're gonna get into the calculus eventually in this episode, but I just gotta say I'm back from Hawaii. Do I look more tan? You do. Do I? Dude, you you walked in and I was like, dude, who's listening? Yes. Like who a Teddy the... Graham. Uh, Teddy Graham's trash. Insane. What <laughs> in the absolute It's not better than animal crackers with the frosting on it. I hate you. Um, dude, right as we got to Hawaii, somebody like first day, within minutes, this guy goes, Don't go to 7 Eleven. A man. Just got his hand cut off with a sword. What in? <laughs> I'm not going the to 7-Eleven employee. No, cut off a man's hand. No. What is 7-Eleven is so valuable where you lose a hand over it? Fucking mango jewel pods. Those are pretty good. Those are like illegal at this point. Yeah, yeah, that makes sense. But wh at what point, like, would you piss off a 7-Eleven employee to that much? We were like, give me that Cinnabon, bitch. And he's like. Fuck you. I'm stealing it. They pull out a sword. And then the guy cut his, his hand off because he swung it at him. And then he threw the sword away in the dumpster and ran. You can't throw a sword in a dumpster. Nah. Where Swords you, are too big. Where are you hiding it? Your throat? Pen and teller. Uh-oh. That's weird. Pen. Bic? Do you think when they put the swords down the throat, there was like some dude being like, hold up. Yes. <laughs> yes. I have another I got a pocket you. knife for you. Oh. Pocket knife. Pocket knives are hilarious. If you carry a pocket knife, uh, you're on the wanted list. Also, you're like, bitch, it's a pocket. Like, it's in my pocket. It's a pocket knife. It's very funny. Swiss knife. Army knives. Do you carry one of those around? Right now? Or would I? Both. Life. If I lived in Temecula, I would. <laughs> Stand-up comedy! We're on the road. We're yelling about things, okay? We're doing it. We're doing it. Michael Blaustein, where are you going to be? Guys, this weekend, I'm going to be in Chicago, August 4th through the 6th. Tickets are almost gone, so go get them. Uh, August 11th, I'm going to be in Brea, California. August 12th, I'm going to be in Van Hoover, dude. August 14th, we are going to be in Edmonton. Edmonton. Uh, me and Mr. Wallace are going to be in Edmonton. Uh, August 24th, I'm going to be in Oxnard, California. For real, guys, uh, pick it up. Those tickets are not moving. So go get them, okay? September 8th to the 10th, I'm going to be in Tempe, Arizona, dude. September 22nd, I'll be in Madison, Wisconsin. I don't know if that accent is correct. September 23rd, I'll be in Milwaukee, Wisconsin. That's not right either. October 16th, I'm going to be in Denver. October 20th, I'll be in Honolulu, California. California? Le Whoa. Hawaii. Honolulu, California? <laughs> this idiot. Honolulu, Hawaii, dude. And uh, more dates to come. I love you guys. Go on blowcomedy.com, blowcomedy.com to grab tickets. Uh, I don't know. Mr. Wallace, why don't you yell at him? Tell him where Calgary, you're going. Calgary, yeah! Alberta. August 11th through the 13th. Uh, that is Alberta, Calgary. Then we're <clears throat> zipping on over to Edmonton boop, for boop. the Great Outdoors Festival with Tom Segura headlining August 14th. Whoa. Just added Boise, boop, boop, boop. August 26th, Las Vegas, August 27th, boop, boop. Madison, Wisconsin, September 1st through the 3rd, uh -huh. uh, 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 Oxnard, California, September 16th through the 18th. And guys, I haven't put out promo for it yet, what? but if you go to my website, trevorwallscomedy.com, the second half of the Are You That Guy tour just got announced. Let's go. The pre-sale is up right now. They Whoa. go live 10 a.m. this Wednesday, today. And that is promo code Kyle to get the early access, whatever the fuck they call it. What is it called? Uh, uh, the tickets. Pre-sale. Uh, pre-sale. Pre I fucking hate pre-sales. Put them up. Yeah, put them up. So I'm going to read through these really quick, go. but they're on my website. <laughs> uh, Fort Lauderdale, Charleston, South Carolina, Asheville, North Carolina, Phoenix, Whoa. for jobs in Phoenix, San Francisco, uh -huh. Houston. Wow. You're in Houston two days before me. I am. You're still not going to open those shows. <laughs> Grand Rapids. Grand Rapids, November 11th. Indianapolis, uh, Cleveland, Ohio. Salt Lake City. Whoa. Boulder, Calo Whoa. Boulder, Colorado. California. Fort Collins. <laughs> New Haven, Connecticut. Atlantic, New Atlantic City, New Jersey. And Red <laughs> Bank, New Jersey. Those are all the new cities coming up. Uh, the dates of those are on my website. Use promo code Kyle Wednesday, 10 a.m. for the pre-sale. You can get them now. Other than that, it goes live to everybody on Friday. Uh, if you heard your city, go to TrevorWallsComedy.com. I'll see you there. Also, make sure to check out my Spotify live show called Melen Z every other Wednesday. Get the app Spotify Live or listen to it on Spotify. Hit him with a... Did I tell you guys about the guy with that threatened me with a knife the other day? I think so. What happened? I don't think you said it on the podcast. You might have told us, though. Some guy walks up to me. I'm walking my dog outside, and he, and he walks up. He's like a kid, probably like 18, 19 years old, and he yeah. 
he pulls out a big knife, a big pocket knife, but it's like a big blade, probably like foot long. Well, pocket knife has his, yeah. what is he has cargo shorts? It's not gonna fit in his pocket. But yeah, he was pocket knife. I think of like the Swiss Army knives, where it's got oh, like, like all the doodads. You got a little yeah, fucking yeah, magnifying yeah, yeah. glass. You can floss your teeth. Yeah, this is not a pocket knife. Then this this was, was a uh, shank. Yeah, was it was it like a did it go whoom, did it go in? What are those things? Swiss so, oh, a sheath? Oh no 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 no! It was just a knife. Like uh, you have a sheath, man. You and the fucking Legend of Zelda. This yeah. dog is tripping. There but was one he, person in the Legend of Zelda that was hot. <laughs> Anyways, go ahead. Link? Was it Zelda? No, well, Zelda was cute, but wasn't there a bitch in there? A lady? <laughs> a bitch. That's sorry, guys. Wasn't there a li- woman in there? <laughs> <laughs> it's a video game, man. <laughs> right, but there was like a um, like a prince, like a princess. I think that's Zelda. Blonde hair, pink dress. Yeah. Yeah, Zelda. Dude, dresses do something to me. Because I go, what's underneath there? I'll tell you. Pussy? <laughs> <laughs> All right, sorry, Gabe. Go ahead. So he pulls out this knife, and it's probably like, yeah, like 12 inches. And he goes, whoa, uh, whoa, 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 whoa. Uh, yeah. I know he, exactly what that looks like. And, he, <laughs> and this dude goes, hey, does this look sharp enough to you? Like, real close to me. Jesus. And I'm like, uh, I in my head, I'm going, like, sharp enough for what? To like stab me and steal my dog? But I, I said, uh, yeah, man, looks looks pretty sharp. And he and he looks at it and he goes and he looks back at me and he's like, "All right then." And then he just like walks away. But I think it was like if I had said the wrong thing, yeah. he was gonna stab me. What are you gonna say? Like wh- probably locked eyes with baby blue eyes and was like, "I can't do this." Can't to do him. it to him. Hopefully. He's got a modeling career ahead of him. Dude, that's really scary though. Yeah, terrifying. Yeah, is this sharp enough? Sharp, yeah. Sharp I just I just hit him in the face. <laughs> I just pick up my dog, hit Greta, just throw him right right Greta right in the face. There was a time where me and uh, Chad were filming something in in Hollywood. And this guy came up to us and he had his hand like behind his back and he goes, you guys want to see something really scary? And and there was a moment where I was like, this is his fantasy. Yep. This is the day that he lost all of his marbles. He got kicked off from jerking off in the rice section of Ralph's <laughs> and here it is. <laughs> and then he, he, he pulls behind like a rock or something. And then the rock had nothing. He was like, he said something about his organs bleeding. He goes, my organs have been bleeding. And then he like clutched the rock and then walked away. And we're in the middle of filming. I'm sure Chad has this on footage, but it, but he had his hand behind the back and it was kind of like trench coat ish. Yeah. yeah. Because you guys want to see something really scary. I was like, well, here we go. About to die making a TikTok. Yeah. Numbers, views. For oh, sure, yeah. numbers and views. Probably demonetized. That, yeah. That is any interaction outside of somebody, you know, just in Los Angeles. Anytime someone goes, Do you want to see? Nope. No. Nope. I don't want to see anything you have. If I don't know you, nothing that you have, I want to see. Zero. You're a Girl Scout. You know, I'm like, I don't know what's in that box. Hundred percent, Samoas, Samoas. Speaking of Hawaii, you see that Samoans. Fuck. All right. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't know. And then every time I, uh, oh, somebody at the show had a video of the hand. They're like, my friend was at that Seven Eleven that night, and they showed me what a is, video. No, no, no. no. Do you want to see the video? I have it. First of all, yes, I do. But I just, I'm, I really want to go. First of all, the guy, which, which hand, left or right? Because right show you. can't jerk off anymore. You where do they put the? Things. Where did you put the hand? So the dude cut the the dude working there cut it off. Yeah, the dude working there bust out a sword and was like, "You want fucking beef? I brought it." Swing. Well, we. I mean, there's lots to unpack here, man. Whose fault was it? Is the was the I don't worker? Know. I guy? think they. I think they had ongoing beef or something. Right. But I, that was funny. I was like, we out here just playing Fruit Ninja for fun. For just sure, beefing it up. But that was the first day we landed. And I was like, oh, okay, cool. Not not leaving the hotel. I mean, that is that is the most Hawaii thing I've ever heard in my life. Pretty cool. Who the hell? A sword. Who carries a sword? At 7-Eleven. Beha- at 7-Eleven. That's what I'm saying. Like, they were like, oh, okay, phone, wallet, keys, sword, we're good. Do you think he carried it like a like yeah. a knight, like behind his yeah, back? Yeah. Shoo- you have to. Or like, yeah. You, have, you can't hold like a cane. Although, have you seen those canes that have a sword in them? Yes. That's fucking tight. That I would, that, well, yeah, if I had a bum leg, I'd stab everyone. Oh yeah, yeah. You always see those in like Chinatown. We still just go to Chinatown, like high school, and buy weapons, like like a, like a ninja. You can star, literally buy anything. Firecrackers. I bought uh, brass knuckles. But like my oh yeah, my dad would drive us there when we were like fourteen. I remember very specific. My eighth grade birthday, we went to Chinatown. I got a uh, uh, a ninja star, and then we went to Hooters and Burbank. <laughs> Did you fucking you, electric? I mean, that is that's that's a fourteen year old's dream. One hundred percent. And my, and my dad quickly? like lied and was like, oh, we went to TJ Maxx. We didn't go to Hooters. Oh. And they, they embarrassed me. They made me. They put a, pa- a paper cup in my mouth and made me do the chicken dance. Why was there a cup in your mouth, dude? To look like a rooster. Like is like, that what you, they told you? Yeah. Did you get touched? 
by my father? This was the Hooters girls. They were like, it's your birthday. We want to embarrass you. But like when you're 13 or 14 or whatever, in your head, you're like, that's crazy. These girls want to fuck me that bad. Like, 100%. relax. 100%. I'll put a paper cup in my mouth as long as you put something else in my mouth. Tits? Sprite. Whoa. I was, a, I was young. You're right. I was young. <laughs> well, yeah. But I remember that. <laughs> then, 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 yeah. That's Once, fucked up. Dude, that can like scar a 14 year old. 13 or 14? Uh, I think transitioning. Yeah. <laughs> It's my birthday, dude. <laughs> what a weird way to say my birthday. Yeah. How old are you? Well, I'm transitioning to be 24. <laughs> but kids always what be like, of alien I'm robot eight and three fourths. Shut the fuck yeah, up. Yeah, you're an idiot. Do you want a happy meal or not? Yeah. I'm four and three quarters. I remember Your that. Your dad's an alcoholic. I went to a Hooters one time with my dad and the waitress was pregnant. That was the last time I went to Hooters. God. That's not true. I've been a Hooters since. Yeah, well, I think we went. Didn't you Postmates some Hooters too? Yeah, I have. Dude, whole, I have a whole... joke about that. <laughs> yeah. What happens to jokes when you're like, you just you used to do them every show, and then you look back and you're like, why did I stop doing that? A hundred percent. Dude, I br I've brought back two jokes in the past like two months. Just like, what did I do? Why did I stop doing that joke? I used to have so much fun doing it. I brought it back yeah. and did it again. It worked. And I was like, this is so fun. Yeah. What happens? I get, I get, like, I'm Bill Burr now. Bleh, suicide. Shut up. No one cares. Talk about come on stage. Yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. but you get a new bit and it excites you for a little bit. And That's what it is. It's like, you know, that puppy dog effect. You're like, yeah, 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 That's yeah, yeah. And the old bit's like, ah, oh, you'll come back to me. You'll come back. God, I can't believe someone got their fucking hand cut off. Anyway. Hand cut off. Uh, also, I, I finally saw a guy get kicked off a flight. All these viral Whoa. videos, all these viral videos you see, it's fun. What happened? On the flight home, it was like 7 a.m. flight, and they were doing uh, food. They were serving breakfast. The guy in front of me, he's probably like 70. Old man. Uh -oh. right? Old, right? Uh, and he goes, where's vegetarian options? Right? Okay. He kind of demanding. because where's vegetarian options? He goes, oh, that's the only thing we have today. And then he, he lets out a big sigh and goes, well, I can't eat this. It's got eggs. I need a vegetarian option. Where's the veggies? And she was like, I... I don't like we only have one meal for anybody and everybody today. Then he throws the menu. Oh, <gasps> throws the menu. You can't do that. And you so, can't throw anything on a flight. No. Keep in mind, this is Hawaiian Airlines. Like the most peaceful. I don't know if you've ever flown Hawaiian Airlines. Uh -uh. All the stewardess have Hawaiian shirts on. Hot. They have TVs mounted playing like somebody playing ukulele. Like it's it's scenic. It's beautiful. It's showing like drone shots of the island. They do that to set the tone. They're serving Mai Tais at 7 a.m. If a white person, if a white woman is playing a ukulele, you're insane. Yeah, I, I just, I just like hot take right here. I've dated two women that play ukuleles in like, like they for real play them for real, like in the apartment practicing. No, insane, insane. Get a guitar, get a trombone, get anything else. And then I, I would walk into her place, ding, dang, ding, ding, bing, bing. What's happening? Cool. Call your father. <laughs> <laughs> Go to an escape pod at LAX. Have you seen those pods at the airport? What the hell are those? Oh, the best feed. Uh, yeah. Well, there's those, but there's also ones like take Zoom calls on. Oh, it's like noise canceling. Oh yeah, yeah. I'll say do that there. I just don't. I don't want to hear your process of getting better. Yeah, come out, be better. <laughs> come out, be. I'm John Mayer. How many women? Five. No. <laughs> Hundred million. How often does John Mayer get a nut off? I mean, it's it's, it's it, constantly I mean, with everyone. I know some some musicians that know him. Yeah, really? it's a lot. Yeah, my body is a wonderland. Yeah. You don't think people are getting a one way ticket to that? Oh my god! Just the opening chords of Gravity. Look, you you could hate John Mayer, but that'll add some moisture to the old cooter. Down, 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 down. Oh my god! I mean, that's the con shell for cooter. And he's hot. Whoa, title maybe. But yeah, and he's hot. He's not hot. even like one of the music. He doesn't look like uh, Eddie Pepitone. He's fucking hot. Hot. God damn. This next ad, we are sponsored by the Us. color. Us. 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 Independent mom and pop shop. I'm the mom. Where's my tits? Right there. I see him. Mom and Let pop shop. Let me milk them. Whoa. Yeah. Mom and pop. You don't think they fuck in the back? You have a ring, 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 ding. And well, yeah. That's why I have the doorbell. That's yeah, like, that's uh, we'll be back in five. You're either shitting or coming. If Whoa. you're old, do you have a wrinkled dick or does it get more smooth? Is this the episode Botox. or the ad? <laughs> this is an ad for okay. our new merch that just came out. Go new to merch! SocksMerch.com. The merch is here and it's flying, dude. Look, we launched on Monday. If you're late to the game, no worries. It's Wednesday. Turn up. Hump day? No. Fucking dump day. Dump that credit card into our bank accounts because we have fire-ass <laughs> fucking merch.
<laughs> Dude, we have embroidered almost everything, okay? We yep. got a fire tan shirt that has embroidered sip socks. Dude, things are flying off the shelf. We have a cum towel. We have the old G goddamn hoodie. We have a freaking cash money vintage t-shirt that's fire that we're almost out. Yeah. Why don't you jump on board and get it before it's gone? Too late, right? This is the last merch drop for, you know, probably two or three weeks. Yeah. Whoa. <laughs> I'm so no, tired. No, merch drops is they take, it's a lot of bandwidth and it, it takes a lot to do it. So this one, we were, we're very happy with it and, and we, yeah. we only drop the stuff we really loved and know you guys will love. So get it while it's hot. Um, and if you go over 60 bucks, you get free shipping. Free okay. shipping. What is Word that? Promo code. You're welcome. Uh-huh. Free uh, shipping. 60 bucks. Stiff socks, merch.com. Go to it. Grab it before it's gone. Um, low inventory pretty much on everything. So go get it. Um, and uh, yeah, man, we love you. God damn. Now a word from our sponsor, Better Help. How well would you take care of your car if you had to keep the same one your entire life? Very well. Very well. I wouldn't even eat onion rings in it. Nope. You know what I would do? What? I would give the car better help. I would. Which is just gasoline. Literally therapy, if you don't know, BetterHelp is therapy, online therapy. And online yep, therapy yep. for your car, just gas. Gas. Gas for octane. the brain. Yes. Maybe a car wash. Maybe an oil change. Whoa. Get jerked off. Here's the thing. Michael and I are both big <clears throat> proponents of therapy and Huge. getting help. Huge. And I think that I've grown a lot because of therapy. You have, dude. Uh, yeah. Your emotional agility, dude, crazy. Dude, my, my dad doesn't do therapy, and I was with him last night. That boy needs it. Yeah. Just yelling at nobody. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, dog, betterhelp.com, back to that socks. <laughs> BetterHelp, what is it? It's an online therapy that offers video, phone, and even live chat online therapy sessions. So you don't have to see anyone on camera if you don't want to. You ever have an ugly therapist? Doesn't matter because you can't see uh, it's much more affordable than in-person therapy. You can be matched with a therapist under 48 hours, dude. That is insane. I actually use BetterHelp. I had a regular therapist. She was fine. Psych. Fired her. Then I got a BetterHelp thing. 24 hours. Her name is, uh, what's her name? Mandy. Hot name for a therapist. Anyways, uh, dude, and the app, super intuitive. Go User right to the friendly. User friendly. That's the word I there wanted. There you go. And best part of all. Uh, our listeners get 10% off their first month at betterhelp.com slash socks. That's betterhelp, H-E-L-P dot com slash socks. Go find happiness, dude. God damn. All right. So. Uh, okay. So that, so, sorry. so, so we're sitting right behind him. It's 7 a.m. Did you start filming this at this point? No, or? I was directly behind him. So I didn't have a good okay. angle, okay. but, but it's to the point where everyone, cause he had far left corner. So he had kind of like a triangle around him. My row's looking at him, the row next to me is looking at him, and the row ahead of him is Got starting it. to look at him. Got you know, they're like, kind of like, oh, is this really happening moment, right? Yeah. Then he goes, he goes, uh, he said, the, the stewardess says something like, you know, I, I'm i sorry, sir. We, you know, we just have one menu. Like, I'm sorry I didn't check in with you earlier, right? Yeah. Kind of like sarcastic. And he goes, he goes, you don't be sarcastic with me. I fly you guys all the time. Right, right. So yeah. now we're at stake two. Stake two. That one was a little, you know, didn't add too much. Where it gets absolutely electric. Uh -oh. He points at the TV that's mounted and he goes, how do I turn this off? It was like playing Hawaiian music. It's the whole plane. It's getting this Hawaiian music and this this like music video and he goes how do oh, i turn this off and she goes we can't turn that off it's like a program for everybody this is where the man goes absolute fucking facebook boomer mode he pulls out <laughs> i swear to god he pulls out an ipad and he starts playing stairway to heaven by led zeppelin no! full, blast, full no! blast full blast and he looks over at his wife after and, and people are looking around like is this motherfucker gonna shut this shit off nobody's saying anything and he looks over at his wife and i'll never forget this he goes this is the best song ever written <laughs> there will never be a better song than this better than the beatles and then um, <laughs> uh, he played another Led Zeppelin song after that. And then at that point, I knew that something was different because all the stewardess were wearing Hawaiian shirts. Yeah. And then uh, a lady who probably does CrossFit uh, seven days a week, not in a Hawaiian shirt, walks up. Uh -oh. And I go, uh-oh, this could be the marshal. Yeah. And she whispers in the guy's ear, right? I don't know what they're saying. And I get so mad. And then the guy immediately folds. He goes, oh, no, I'm sorry. Like, I'll, I'll do anything to, I'll do, like, I, I, I just like, and that was essentially being like, we're going to have a word with you. And then the wife stayed on the flight. He had this like weird moment where he's like saying bye to her. And he's like, oh, and he's like, oh, he's getting kicked off, getting kicked off. Hold on. Hold and, on. Can I, I I'm, I'm so, I'm so sorry. I'd like to pause this over here. He's getting kicked off for that. I've seen people bring Bengal a, tigers on the fucking flight. He was aggressive. With, he was he was very he was a moody okay. man. He he was like 
Like it, like it was like a child. He was like seventy years old, but he's throwing a fit about the yeah. food, and he's like, "I deserve better treatment than this." Like I fly you guys all the time. Why yeah. don't you have more breakfast items? Yeah. What you, and then he's huffing and puffing. And then he, at one point he goes, "Well, what's the second meal of the day?" And they go, "Sir, it's a five hour flight. We only have one meal." Throws menu. So he's like, he's he's making a scene, and he's yeah. gonna like, it, dude, it's seven a.m. And th this is, I mean, this might be a very dumb question. This is before the flight takes off. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So he's uh, he's already so I don't a think problem. Yes. I don't think they put him on the like the no fly, fly list. list. Yeah. Also, it's a fucking island. What the fuck are you going to do? Take a sea do back to the <laughs> land? But I think I overheard something saying they'll put him on a later flight. Or, or like you, you're not on this flight, but we'll figure it out later or something. Do we think that he was drunk? Because I've seen people get taken off flight because you're not allowed he, to get you're not allowed to be drunk on a flight. He didn't seem drunk. He just seemed like an, an entitled old fucking white man. He just, his energy was crazy. Like throwing a menu, making a big fit, just kind of like complaining about everything. The iPad out loud yeah. to overpower Hawaiian music on Hawaiian airlines. I mean, I thought, I mean, that might've been the most disrespectful thing I've seen ever. And I've seen somebody vape at a breast cancer walk. <laughs> I swear to God, this guy I went to college with Clay, Clayton. We, we, we hopped in our frat, uh, do a charity walk and motherfucker just starts vaping. And I'm like, dog, you can't. And he's like, ha, 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 what? Anyone, any time someone goes, what? They know they fucked up. Yeah. I mean, here's the thing. Honestly, the old man should have got his hand cut off. That's what should have That's happened. who the person, but That's the funniest part happen. is he, the wife stayed. The wife goes to get up too and he goes, no, no, no. It, like, it was funny like the end of a Disney movie. It was like, no, 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 you stay. And he, he, he said this, he goes, I always find my way back. I always do. And then he just left. Oh. This guy was waste. And then they filled the sea with a hot bitch. I was like, hey, hey, what's up? Kick me off. Stay away to my cock. <laughs> Stay away to heaven on an iPad full blast was the most boomer thing in the world. <laughs> Peaceful Hawaiian like ukulele music. Yeah. And motherfucker just goes, y'all need some America in this. The, I, this, this man, well, this man needed to go. This man needed to go. I will yeah, say that. I'm going to say this. I, I actually can't believe that he got kicked off for that. Like, he, 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 was, seemed, he seemed to be a problem for sure, but, like, to kick someone off for that... Dude, he, he was making a big deal. Oh, and okay. and, and the, right. the stewardess asked, like, do you want to talk to a gate agent? We can get you to set it up. And he's like, I don't know how to talk to... Him. So... It was a... Okay, okay. It was a thing. It was one of those things, like, you know when you're mad and anything somebody does pisses you off? Yeah. Like, like nobody could have made this man happy. Yeah. I tried. I jerked him off twice. Still nothing. Came. Yeah. Both of it looked like whey protein powder. But... <laughs> I was just glad it didn't happen in the air and they didn't have to do like a weird U-turn or something. Oh, yeah. Like this happened right before the flight left. Like they were still boarding people in the back. And I was just like, it was just funny. If I was a wife, I would have stayed for sure because they don't have a good marriage. No. There's no way they're killing it. No, it was, I think the, the dude had, to, I don't know. He was probably some fucking oil tycoon. Motherfuckers would be making oil. Motherfuckers like own Fracking. rocks. Yeah. They're like, oh, what do you do for a living? Oh, well, I own a lot of commotion going on so back there. So much. There's <laughs> so much talking and walking. Yeah. Um, that was really my recap. Guy getting kicked off and the hand cut off. I of can't off. believe. Did I, I told you when I was flying back from Mexico that the entire plane got, uh, not, uh, I guess raided is the word. No. Yeah. They were in search of something. And there was four police officers with, because it's so funny, like in other countries, you know, we carry just like we, the, the cops in America, they just carry like the, the, the Glocks, just like the handguns. Mm -hmm. Other countries. Oh yeah. Nah. Oh yeah. They go, Hey, yeah. I have a bazooka. Yeah. Yeah. What the, like literally. And that's on a Monday. Yeah. They have, what are those AK-47s just like on the plane? I'm like, please, too, ma too many guns on this yeah. plane. They'll have like a uh, body armor shit. Anyways. So there's four people get on, four uh, cops get on. And I'm like, oh shit, there's something popping off, like obviously. And they start having one by one rows get up, file out, and then they start ripping like the seat up, all the cushions to try to find something. And they, they're going underneath, ripping seat cushions. And then they, and then the three people that got up, they usher them to sit back down. The next row, next row. They're like, look, I don't know what they're, I mean, drugs probably, but it took them like 35 minutes and everyone was like, a bit uneasy, obviously. And then we just, no one gets, they don't find what they're looking for, whatever. And then the, the plane just takes off. No. 
Yeah, I, I want to get an off. announcement. Be like, oh, we found the tech deck we were looking for. <laughs> huh? I need something. Well, they probably did, but it was in Spanish. And I don't know if you guys know this. I haven't taken enough babble.com. They don't, they no. You took French in high school? I did. How many years? Uh, dude, I took three years in high school, one year of college, and I know like 11 words. I've said this before. My French teacher in high school wanted a beat, gave me B's. And you could give her the D's. Hit her up. Well, not. No, no. She had a Saturn she hit me one time. Sa- she hit you? Yeah. She With her Saturn? Yeah. She wasn't really good at stick and she uh hold up. She in the, in my car. Yeah, I think she would be driving stick shift. But like on cars you don't need it. Like a Saturn. Yeah. That- this is a Mini Cooper. <laughs> Why in the fuck? You yeah. need five gears. Yeah, but she uh yeah, she uh I I'm I you know what, listen dude. I don't know if she wanted to beat. She wanted to beat. I think but yeah, she just you know, she's a little, little flirty. Younger teacher. Little flirty would literally just give me B's. I would bomb in class. Bomb. But, but why not A's? B's is so funny. It's like she's like trying to be cool, but not too cool. That's what I think it was. I, well, because I do it. I deserve D's and F's. She'd be like, she'd mm. point to a table and I'm like, what is this? And I'd be like, yeah, no, come on. I, mean, I don't know. Yeah, that means cappuccino. <laughs> cappuccino. Um, yeah, that was really. That's crazy. Yeah. I mean, that's pretty. That's a pretty eventful fucking week. Dude, yeah, totally yeah. hand getting cut off. Hand getting cut off, you know. Dude, there was Stiff Sox fans at the show in Hawaii. I was That's like, fire. I was like, damn, fucking, we're still in America, but y'all are here. Seeing American flags in Hawaii, I, like, I don't, like, it's a part of the U.S., no, but it's I, not. I feel like they're like, yeah, we, we don't care about y'all. We don't, hey, hey, hey get out of here. Yeah, I mean, they, they shouldn't care about the mainland. Ooh, I used. Mainland. Mainland. They Hawaii shouldn't word. care about mainland. But they're I saw, sh- like, somebody like, flying a, a flag out there, and I was like, whoa. What's Is happening? Hawaii, uh... Democratic or Republican? Do we know? Probably Democratic. I don't think we give a fuck. You know what's funny? I would guess that, but I have no idea. But I don't it, know. What, so the, I mean, you've been there a bunch. I've never been there. I'm going yeah. in October. Guys, the Plug show. Date. Guys, show October. Dude, there's loose roosters everywhere. I don't like it. There's roosters just roaming. Don't like it. Somebody told me that how that happened was there was roosters just roaming, then like a tornado or some some came through and dispersed them out of the farm. Crazy. Now there's just roosters everywhere. Yeah. So what happened? Like, do people eat them shits? I they, don't. I mean, they should. Yeah, I saw a picture. I think I saw a picture. Because I was trying to make the correlation that they didn't have Chick-fil-A out there, but they got fucking loose roosters. I got an idea. Hit the collab. I know where to find a rooster or two. Also, Run open it, it on Sunday in Hawaii. Open it on Sunday. In Hawaii. Just they, sh- in- they should do one Sunday a year. Like, you know, like people would fucking celebrate that. There was a Raising Canes that opened in Burbank. And I, I saw drove that. past it. Son, every time I went to Do they have cops there? Yeah, the Flappers Comic Club. Every time I go there, they had cops navigating the traffic for Raising Canes. But America's it's like back, baby. <laughs> it's like that every day, though. It doesn't matter if it's a Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. It's packed to the fucking back. I'm going to start selling Stiff Socks merch in line. Funny. I know. You know how concerts I thought people happen? would laugh. <laughs> well, I was processing. Ha, ha, ha. Um, but you know how people sell, like, uh, out front of, like, concerts? It'll be, like, a, yeah. a bootleg, like, Red Hot Chili Peppers thing? Yeah. Here's the thing. What's up? Gabe goes in a mask. Yep. And then out front of the comedy shows, I got Stiff Socks merch. It's good. It's good. It's Gabe great. will give you a dollar per product. You know what I mean? This is is a- Raisin Cane's good or is their sauce just good? It's named Raisins. <laughs> Fuck everything that's Raisins. Ra- you can't name me one thing that's a Raisin that's good. Oatmeal Raisin Cookie. Fire. God uh, damn it. <laughs> yogurt, yogurt covered Raisins. Those Honestly, suck. what Get the out. hell are you talking about? <laughs> that's the only thing that's no, good. Oh, that sucks. Oatmeal yeah. Raisin Cookies Oatmeal are raisin cookies crazy. Are, oh, they're great. They just remind me of a, a nice hug from your grandmother you haven't seen in a couple Christmases. You know what's sad about my grandma? The fact that you said you wanted to have sex with her last. I didn't say I didn't. I did not want to beat. I said she was hot. <laughs> guys, I don't know why this is weird for me to say. There's no way that you guys don't look at old pictures of like your mom or grandma like back in the day in 1920s and like. I understand it's your grandma, but right then in the picture, that's not your grandma. Do you understand? You have to play Russian dolls with her eggs to make it your grandma. Like it's your mom, it's your mom's, it's her egg, which is your mom. And then that that egg has to grow up and the have eggs. layers like, you're going through to like co-sign this is hilarious. No, no, but what I'm saying is I don't think you guys are actually thinking about it. You're, you're looking at a picture of 1907 with your grandma during the Dust Bowl farmers <laughs> or like fucks happening back the then. What was the Dust Bowl? <laughs> Nobody knows. I thought it was honestly. Grapes of Wrath? That's not right. What happened in that book? I'll tell you. Anna Karenin and took out her tit and gave milk to an old man. That's really? what happened. 
I don't know if it was Anna Karina and took out her tit, but one of those old women. Dude, could you imagine? You're not just old. Thirsty as hell, and the girl's like, I got tit. And you're like, I do it. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to get that on tap. Honestly, if she offered me milk, I'd cut the tit off. I'm starving. I'm not thirsty. Give me meat. Oh, oh I see what you're saying. If someone, I want to finish my, oh, let me finish my grandma thought and then I'll ask you this question. Yeah, yeah. All I'm saying is, is everyone in this room, is no one on board with me? That if you look at a picture of 1911 with your grandma, you honestly can't look at that picture and be like, wow, that's a hot woman. <laughs> is that is that a wild? Like, I understand well, I understand the hesitation, but stop being fucking losers. <laughs> and and understand aesthetically, if you look at a picture of something that's a grandma or not grandma back in the day, that you can be like, oh, aesthetically, that's a hot person. I'm not gonna be because that's my grandma. <laughs> But like, I mean, I have a whole joke about this on stage. Like, I don't give just, a fuck. I look close. at a picture of my mom in her fucking college yearbook, and I'm like, that is a sexy ass woman. <laughs> beat. <laughs> B-E-A-T, beat. I understand it's my mom. But that's not, but like, dude, okay, here's a, here's a better example. <laughs> Do you still breastfeed? I'm, I try to, but it doesn't work anymore. <laughs> here's what I'm saying. If I look at a, if I look at a, a like a hot man, I go, that is a fucking hot man. I'm not sexually attracted to men, but I go, that's a hot man. It's oh, no, the we, same thing. We get your logic. It's but just you, not a popular opinion. No, it's here's the <laughs> thing. I think everyone's just so fucking scared because of social contracts you guys signed when you were born that you can't just fucking get on board with understanding <laughs> that if you look at a fucking <laughs> that if you look at a picture of just a woman, if you disassociate that to your fucking mom and you go, that is a hot woman. Dude, there's a picture of my grandma. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, I think you just won the electoral college vote in Alabama. I mean, you are going in. I'm Here's just, my. I hear what you're saying. Thank but like, you. But but that's there's so many people out there. It's like if you're in a fucking pond, there's other fish out there. Why are you swimming from the fish that gave you cup that morning? Because all the more reason why you should want to fuck it. Because she's motherly. Because she gave you kelp. But why can't like if Gabe is a hot mom, you just slide in there? Hey, let's give him up. No, I, I no. If, if I saw a picture of Gabe's mom or your mom or or, or Jack the social I, media I guys, agree that like you okay. look at an old photo and you're like, Thank you. oh, okay, yeah. yeah. But but what I'm saying is, guys, stop being so fearful, and just say that that is a hot person. It's a grandma. It's your grandma. It's your mom. It's your sister. Whatever. <laughs> but you can be like, <laughs> I just think me. the word hot is uh, connotated to okay. sex. Sexy so I'm like, as oh, fuck. that's a good looking person. I'm like, oh, mom was killing it back in the day. Is but, an easy way to say that. Word, word. But that is uh, that is you saying your mom's hot. Remember, we, right? We, Context, we, so it, words. But we talked about it before. Like, I don't say I'm horny. I just say my balls uh, have been working overtime. Or have? Oh, they have been working overtime. They're too loaded up. God, Supply chain. Damn. That's dude, that's how you get sex from your girl. You go, listen. Supply chain. My balls need to check out. Yeah. Wow. So, so so you so you do agree you just don't like the wording. Yeah. I, I wouldn't necessarily look at an old 23 and me result and be like, shoddy little buddy. <laughs> and I'm just staying quiet because I know Jack's gonna clip this and my grandma follows the Instagram. So. I dude, show me a picture of your grandma. What's her name? Uh, I don't Theodore. know. But I'm not gonna dox her, <laughs> huh? Yeah. I'm not gonna dox. Yeah, her. don't dox her. My grandma's name's Phyllis. Beat. I thought my grandma's name was Bubby until I was like 14. <laughs> You're dumb as shit. <laughs> you got to take the fucking rooster cup out of your mouth and understand it's not Bubby. <laughs> no, this is everything. This is everyone with what they called her. You thought the Bubby was on her birthday? <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought that was a name, Bubby. Yeah. You're canceled. <laughs> She's a sweet lady. She is very sweet. I'm sure she is. Your whole family's fucking sweet. My grandma's the sweetest woman in the world. Back in the day, tits. <laughs> <laughs> did, hold up. What? Did they have wagons back in the day? And I ain't talking dust, but I'm talking ass. 100%. But Dude, back in the day, it was hotter to be, f to be chunkier. You'd be like, oh, wow, you ate a lot. Hold up. Yeah. That all natural BBL? 100%. That is interesting. Yeah, because if you are eating, you have wealth. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, the, the stench, though, on some of those people. I mean, are you kidding me, dude? You ever see those Kaiba movies when those, like, like the, the prostitutes are walking around and you go, God, they must smell the, like the bottom of a New Balance. Like, these fucking women stink. The cowboy movies? All of them. Yeah. I'm just saying that the, they didn't really yeah, bathe. All the yeah, they were always outside, and then they took, like, one bath at the lake once a month. Do they not have short sleeves or shorts? 
No one wore any clothes that 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 were a lot for of the bonnets. weather. Yeah, well, I don't think they had yeah. sunscreen, so they're trying to cover everything up so they don't oh. get skin cancer. They didn't know about skin cancer. They got typhoid fever from drinking cum. They didn't. Know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, how do you learn, Deborah? You're awfully red. I don't know what that is. Well, do you think it's that bright light bulb in the sky? How is the sun real? Every morning it's on time. <laughs> and we're just like, yeah, that's uh, that's up there. Dude, the sun is never late. It's never late. It's all, We're on its time. Oh, when is the sun coming up? When's sunrise? Oh, when's sunset? Yeah. We're on its time. Dude, high tide, low tide? Explain that. Is God real? <laughs> <laughs> There we go. Now it's an official <laughs> Stiff Sock yeah, episode. Yeah. But, right? Yeah. Right? Yeah. You're we're right, on God. Yeah. You know what? The only thing, also, you think the sun is pissed that we invented shades? You're like, hey, wake the fuck up. <laughs> oh, I see what you're and saying. then we have shades? Yeah. I mean, this, what we've done here is an affront to the sun. We said, we're going to block the sun out from this room In completely, studio, yeah, yeah. and we're going to create our own sun. Yeah. Yeah. This is, yeah. This is, this is. This is fake sun. This is blast. Lights are fake sun. Yeah. Dude, motherfuckers used to read by candlelight. Everything by candlelight. Motherfuckers would go to sleep at 5 p.m. Honestly, that sounds great. <laughs> Does it? Yeah. 5 p.m.? Yeah, they just go to sleep. Dude, literally, they would, the circadian rhythms. What? Hold up. Um, it's, it, it's, it's, it's linked to the sun, right? So it's like the sun rise, you awake. The sun sets, you go to sleep. Like, that's what it was. I'm out. You're out. <laughs> I'm out. But no, like, nefarious shit could happen during the, when the sun's down. Because everyone's goddamn asleep. Also, if you're a farmer, buddy. That is funny that you're like, we're just on a natural, like, time clock. Yeah, that's Like, there's no reason to have a clock. We just go, sun's up, I'm awake, I'm doing work. Sun's down, I go to sleep. Yeah, that's what it should be. But we're dumb as shit. We have phones and shit. Fucking porn.com. I do think it is hot if you were... Banging it out and you had candles lit up and you blew out the candles. Oh, you never bang with candles on. Oh, I have. Yeah, it's hot. God damn. You ever do too much weed? You start thinking, are you blinking too loud? Yeah, dude. One time I thought I was a Nissan Sentra. You are. Oh, God. Beep, beep. <laughs> <laughs> but the best work around that is probably microdosing. Dude, microdosing. Everyone's freaking doing it. Yep. People aren't getting too high because oh, I don't... There's some people that need to get that much THC. Me, I just need a little bit, and I'm good to go, dude. I feel energized. It's great after workouts. I feel much, much better, okay? And that's why today our show is sponsored by Microdose Gummies. Dude, Microdose Gummies delivers perfect entry-level doses of THC that help you feel just the right amount of good, okay? Dude, they really do taste good. They, I, when I take them, I feel amazing, dude. I've used them to help me get in the zone when doing creative work and at night to help me get down, wind down, dude. Make me chill out, sleep like a wah, 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 baby. I'm the baby. All around, they are 10 out of 10 for me, dude. They're also available nationwide. Huh? And you can learn more about microdosing THC by going to what? microdose.com. And while you're there, use promo code SOCKS to uh -huh. get free shipping and 30% off your first order. Dude, how much? 30% off your first order by going to Microdose, easiest website in the world, microdose.com, and use code SOCKS. 30% off, dude. Links can be found also in the show description. But then again, microdose.com. Do you really need the links in the description? No. Use weed. promo code SOCKS. That'll get 30% off Use promo and code free weed in my ass. We could do that. I don't think it'll work, but use promo code SOCKS. I think if you put three Microdose gummies right in your asshole, it might work. I'm Vin Diesel. <laughs> Dude, triple X, porn. No one said, hey, let's not use that. <laughs> or it's poison. I thought porn, porn. I thought uh, microdose.com. Yeah, there you go. Promo code sex. God damn. Well, do you think anybody ever nutted onto a candle to put it out? Holy Good night, sweetheart. shit. Ugh, well, that's maybe what all the candle wax dripping looks like. That's not wax, sweetie pie. That's what I'm alluding to. Alluding? Who have you turned into? You've been you. reading? <laughs> no. <laughs> reading? Uh, dude, I'll tell you, with the amount of people I saw on vacation reading, I'm like, you're not fucking thinking about reading. You're thinking about pina coladas and pounding out your sister. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't know what got into me. It's listening to you talk about your grandma being hot. I, I should have logically said yeah. girlfriend. Yeah. Yeah. Pina coladas <laughs> are dumb as shit. 
I got something for you. What about a penis colada? <laughs> penis coladas are that? good. Penis coladas are really good. They're so good. How many grams of sugar do you think are in a penis colada? The most. The, I mean, really. If you taste alcohol let's and go, guess. Mm. Let's guess. Because pina colada have so much alcohol and uh, so much uh, sugar, not even including the, the sugar alcohol. that's in the alcohol. Oh, yeah. Let's guess. Uh, I'm literally going to guess 60, 67 grams of sugar in a 12 ounce pina colada. What's your guess? Gabe, are you looking this up? I'm 82. So sorry. 82? I, yeah, I love when they're just like, you look at the Diet Coke label, or not Diet Coke, the Coke label, and it's like 93, and you're like, well, I already bought it. What am I going to do? You know what my favorite thing is? Yes, I uh, totally more. My favorite thing is is when they uh, when they break it up by servings. Because then you look at, like, w- like the first one says like 23 grams. You're like, oh, not bad. And then you look at the top, it goes one one serving. And then you look at the bottle, and the whole bottle's two servings. Yeah. So they just fuck you America, with this math. Baby. That's oh. what that actually just got me right now. Google has a handy chart. It said seven grams of sugar. Cool. But yeah. then you look. That's for one fluid ounce. For a cocktail, what it is fuck? thirty-one grams. Thirty-one for a pina colada. Yeah. Not that's bad. Not, that's actually not as bad as I thought it was gonna be. Yeah, but like to get drunk off pina coladas, you gotta have like seven of them, bitches. Yeah, that's also only four point mm. five fluid ounces. So. Well, that's not even real. So 4.5 fluid ounces, that's not a, that's not a pina colada. A pina colada is like 12 ounces. Am so, I wrong? Because a, cu- yeah. a cup is eight ounces. All right, so then we're talking probably 90 to 100 grams of sugar. I'm a genius. I mean, I'm to- I was totally wrong, but I said 67. That's crazy. Crazy. Can you also look up this? What is the most sugary drink that, they're, that they can sell? What do we think? Alcohol? Uh, no, just a drink. Oh, it's got to be Mountain Dew. I think it's like Surge. Uh, maybe we did Surge? actually look this up before. It was like, it was some wild... It's some wild thing like, uh, God, what is it? I, we looked this up before, I think. Uh, no, it's, it's if we're talking just soda, it is Mountain Dew. <laughs> Let's go. 72.3 grams. Mother shit, Mug bitch. root beer coming in hot on number two with 66.6. Mug is fucking good. Mug Mug is, root beer on ice? Oh, I haven't had root beer. Uh, oh. Root beer always tastes cold. You ever notice that? Yep. Even when it's room temp, cold. You know what's really fucked up? Coming in number three, not even a soda at all. Minute made 100% apple juice. That's bullshit. Oh, dude, the Minute Maid out the vending machines you used to get in high school, you think you're being all healthy and shit? Yeah. Terrible for you. Yeah. Orange Minute Maid still- lemonade, that shit will melt a four year old. <laughs> that shit is strong. The acidity in that bitch. Why are four year olds selling lemonade? Go learn your colors. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I, I, is Mark Zuckerberg a person? <laughs> like, I think for he's real. a nematode. What? Salamander? In the. Oh, okay. Yeah. Buddy. So, the lady and I moved in together. Hold up. Hey. <laughs> hey. 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 Good luck. Yeah, good. <laughs> Let me tell you this. Ask me how many times we've beaten the new apartment. Zero. So. How many days have you been together? We slept in that place. It's only been two days. I will say, though, we went back to my old place to grab a few items. And you know what we picked up? Sex. We fucked in my old place. It was hot. There was like nothing in there. It was just and we were. That's we, what does it for you, dude. Well, because vacancy. I, yeah, yeah. You feel like you're breaking into someone's house, doing some unlawful I guess, but like, shit. What do you? Is there any? I mean, if anybody would think that it's hot, you'd think it would be me. But I'm like, what? There's no furniture. You guys are fucking on Home Depot boxes. <laughs> we literally. Do you know where we started to fuck? Like standing up. And you know that's a problem because I'm a fucking minotaur. I'm like, I, I got to stand on an apple box just to get in the pussy. Yeah, somebody else's shoulders. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I called my neighbor up and I was like, can I sit on your back for a second? <laughs> so, um, but yeah, so I was like on my tiptoes like a fucking bitch. And I was just trying to get in there. I couldn't really find the angle. And um, and then then we just, there's no furniture. So there was some yeah, random- like you want to take this to the other vacant room? <laughs> yeah, there's still to go. That's what I'm saying. So we literally- Took clothes out of a out of a box, put them on the ground. We're uh, asshole naked. This I got is, one sock on. This is on. heroin type beat. This uh, is not good. A hundred percent. We put clothes down. We're in my closet. What the fuck? But you know my closet. You have a vacant house and you're in the closet, dude. There's you no idiot. What are you a termite? May hey, <laughs> termites like wood. <laughs> Hold up. But, Damn. So we put down clothes. You know I'm, I've explained my closet before. It sounds like it's in an actual closet. It's like a. It's like a, it's a it's like a hallway. Thank you. It's like a hallway closet. Whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I put the clothes down there, and then 
I'm beating it up because I'm a fucking sex machine. No, I'm not. So, I mean, I am, but I need a bed. Y'all are fucking on a picnic blanket. 100%. Like, it's like a, a, a sort of picnic blanket, but we're on hoodies. And my knees are just on the wood. And it's just not okay. No. It, it like, hurts. And... She's not coming. I'm getting frustrated because she's not coming. My knees are fucking, you know, whatever. And then she goes, then she goes, do you just want to finish? Yeah. Yeah. That was the whole sentence? She, yeah. The fuck else are we doing here? But I'm saying, because normally. The, Sudoku. Sudoku. <laughs> No, normally but no, your equality and you yeah get normally she and comes and, and i come and it's a whole thing you foreign know concept yeah <laughs> <laughs> what is <laughs> so whatever so she starts jerking me off i know oh, how come she's jerking you off no head now nah, this you. at this point i get it yeah jerking Y'all off are oh. fucking in an outlet store <laughs> fucking literally at a, at a ross um 100 funny Thank you. So she's jerking me off, and the 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 funny thing about it. Are you still on your knees? Yeah. <laughs> what the fuck? I'm, we're we're on the ground. She's jerking me off, and then I literally I. <laughs> you're jerking off like you're praying to God at night. Hundred percent. Please, 100%, Lord, come. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. And then I just come, and I come Where? like. I'm about to explain, and I come like sixty percent on me, and then like forty percent on a bunch of sweat sweaters and hoodies. And then I just, and then we just finish and you know how like you get the post nut, I got to lay down or I'll kill myself. So I just lay down in all the clothes. I'm like on the hoodies and sweaters. Like, is Gigi there? No, Captain America is at the new place. So she's not there. The fuck she doing? <laughs> she's probably fucking, I, but dude, I don't know what she does when we're not there. I got to put up the ring cam. I don't know what the hell she's doing. Ayahuasca. I got to do some of that. I got to get my brain balanced. I got to, I got to, yeah, I want to do some ayahuasca. Let's do it. Shut up. I'd do it. Fuck yeah. Let's do ayahuasca and then podcast. No. I feel, yeah, I, I, from what I've heard, it's like you drink this potion and you spend the whole day puking and then the next day is the Zen day. Oh, I thought what you mean, just... What did I hear? We had fucking Annie on the show talking oh, about yeah, it. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Anyways, <clears throat> so yeah, so I come on a bunch of, and, and then the, the funny part to me was, well, the whole experience was funny, but we literally, we, me, I just, I just pick up the clothes and I throw them away. I don't <laughs> even know what clothes they were. Don't even know, didn't look. Threw them right in the trash. <laughs> <laughs> that reminds me, I've been hung over so bad sometimes that if I'm like making food on a plate, I'll just throw the actual plate away. <laughs> You're like, I don't want to wash this. I don't want to look at this. The fact that I just ate lo mein at 7 a.m. I don't I don't need to be reminded of this later. I ate meatloaf at 10, 15 in the morning. Today? Yeah. I had enchiladas for breakfast. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, what the hell's wrong with this? But it's Meatloaf? Like, I was like, oh, I could cook eggs or I have leftovers. I don't care what I eat in the morning. I don't care to eat. Just as long as my body's not fucking bitching and complaining, you need protein and carbs. Shut the hell up. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, shut Here's the fuck up. Here's another iced coffee. You're lucky it's not Adderall, bitch. I, I get so angry at my goddamn body. I, I hate when I was filming yesterday and I was like, I was watching the monitor while somebody else was doing it and I and I heard my stomach go, rawr, 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 rawr. And I'm like, shut the fuck. I hate it. I hear you. You know, it's like when you're feeding your dog or cat and you're you're literally pouring the food in the bowl and they're still meowing. Yeah. Eat it. Kibbles and bits. You know what's bullshit is I literally did a bit about this and it it worked like 30% of the time. I'm like, guys, no one feels this way. Shut my, when your body needs something, shut up. It is kind of fucked up though because your body works so hard for you all the time. Does a great job. You know what's weird? It's like we're kind of borderline wolverines. Not the, 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 not the animal. The, the, the fuck? (laughs) I'll explain myself. Not the, the animal? Not the animal. The uh, the, the X-Men. The X-Men. X-Men. Wolverine. Ping. You know the guy with the things? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Have you ever seen it? Yeah. yeah. Okay. No. We're all borderline uh, Wolverines, dude. Because you know how Wolverine in, Wolverine, Wolverine in the cartoon, when he gets cut, his shit heals? That's us, bro. Like on a, like a, like a small level. But like we get like, look, dude, I cut my finger. My body is healing. Working OT. But that's white blood cells pulling up. Son, is it Crip. white or red? Both. Who who heals us? Red or white? Jesus. <laughs> he does. This is a light of mine. I'm gonna let it shine. Who's paying the guys out of the park that the signs is like Jesus is coming? Do they have paychecks? Do they mean coming or coming? Speaking of coming. Oh yeah. We have VR glasses. 
Should yeah. we enter the head of verse? Oh, damn, that's all good. Yeah, I mean, we've been talking head about this for a while because you guys have never done, never seen VR, VR porn. I've never seen like porn that. in general. Okay, well, this I've is going to be blow your mind, Trevor. Dude, imagine learning about jerking off at our age. Funny. You guys would, I would, every podcast would be from Zoom and it, the camera would only be <laughs> neck up. <laughs> neck up. Trevor, what are you doing? Oh, it's a standing desk. Dude, imagine kids now. They what? Got, I thought you were about to just stop no, there. No, no, no. <laughs> just imagine kids now, bro. Like, they get fun. Like, they can, I mean, dude. I had to print eight, porn out and put it in a paintball magazine. Son. And I would run it up on the I nightly. stole porn from my friends. Yeah. At a sleepover. Oh, Everyone was asleep. Cat burgled my way to the goddamn and stole it. I would love to watch that tape now. All right. So, so yeah, so uh, Jack over here is getting this set up. He's going to give you guys a headset and head. So, what? So, we just put this on and then is there a better Can they make these not look so fucking stupid? I look like I'm giving a goddamn eye exam. <laughs> this looks like Ready Player Come. Now, that's the title. Whoa, it's pretty good. Thank I've you. never done this, but I've, I've you ever watched the videos without that? It feels dumb. It's like you're watching a, like a 3D movie without 3D glasses. It's everything's. It just, yeah. it's just, well, it's like super wide and you're like, you just put the laptop on your face. You're like, I don't get it. <laughs> the so, 3D movies make my, I make, give me a headache. Is that, is that anyone else? I just, I feel like it's not worth the effects. I'm like, no. really? Just so a piece of glass can, oh, hit me. But also 40 is cool. Like when the dog sneezes and you feel it on your legs. That is cool. It's kind of weird though. Where's this water from? I'll go first. How does this work? Like, am I instantly just going to see tits? No, no, no. You don't have to set it up. Oh, this is great. Are you in? Are you looking at tits yet? No. What the hell? Oh! Oh, here. Wait a second! <laughs> Wait a fucking second! <laughs> I feel like I'm in an Airbnb in Palm Springs. Where Wait, it? where is it? What? Are the tits in front of you? Uh, they're to my left. Are the tits in front of you? Can I click play? Yeah, yeah, yeah. press play. Yeah, press play, you idiot. Oh my god! <laughs> Bro, what the fuck? This is. Why did it stop? What? Why did it stop? <laughs> Dude, where? Oh my god, I'm getting hit! <laughs> Dude, wait. Oh, I'm having sex right now. <laughs> oh my god. Why? It's like, get this fucking, the, the, the loading bar is up there. Get this shit. <laughs> oh my. Trevor, if you come, I'm gonna fucking. Dude, this is nuts. Are you fucking right now? Yes. Is she hot? Wait up. Where did, where did you buy these? I think it's, I, Dude, this is crazy. Like, this, you're not even... Like, this is not okay. Dude, you look so dumb, it's crazy. I'm full on piping right now. Really? This is not good for my mental health. This literally... Oh. Oh, my... Dude, this is... This is unreal. Oh, my God. What what position are you in right now? Dude, this looks like my penis too. No. Wait, she's riding me right now. I know really? you're in the metaverse, but will you pull your mic down to your face? Dude, she's literally Oh my god! <laughs> They're spreading their assholes in my face. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this leg, like, when I look down, I see my stomach and dong piping. No. You need Okay. I have to look at this. There's a watch again button. Yeah. Fucking hell yeah. <laughs> Take my money, Mark Zuckerberg. I'm buying these tonight. This is insane. How, I'm uh, going to go missing in the Swiss Alps for four days. <laughs> you Trevor, need to see these. Trevor, you need to take gonna, this off. You're going to come into the podcast every day and he's just going to have the line around his face. Like oh, the suntan? Dude, that... How do you rub one out with this in your... Okay, hold on. Michael, you ready? Yeah, yeah. Oh, God dude, damn it. That is... Is it really? It's uh, it's really sad to open up my eyes and just see a podcast studio full of guys staring at me. <laughs> no, that's insane. I felt like I was doing whoa, whoa, the whoa. sex. Get ready for lift off. To hit the way it's on your head right now, you look kind of like um, what's Will Ferrell's character in uh, Zoolander? Um, Do you look like go go? Oh fuck! Oh hey! What? what a, why am I working here? Oh shit! What, are they topping you off right now? Yeah. <laughs> hey, hey, I don't even know your name. Whoa, <laughs> this looks like your dick trap. This looks huge. Uh, yeah, thank you, thank whoa, you. Whoa, whoa, you're too close. I'm fucking you, bitch. But but see, like hey. your, sh your shirt's off, right? No, my shirt's still on. Take my shirt off. Hey, 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 kiss me. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey, don't kiss her. Kiss me, bitch. Oh, there it is. Where are you going? <laughs> 
<laughs> Are you piping her down? I'm fucking. Hey, you're too close. Yeah, choke her. <laughs> oh, I'm gonna come. To... <laughs> hey, hey, hey. <laughs> Hey, we should hey, just leave. Look at <laughs> look, look at <laughs> look at Clint. Hey, okay, there it is. <laughs> but does it like Hey, this looks so Talk us through because people in audio right. are oh my God. this. First, right hey, pull your pull your pussy away. <laughs> Alright, here we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Uh. <laughs> but doesn't right. it look like like what are you seeing? Oh, that's a lot of ass. <laughs> right? That part is intense. That's Dude, they like, sit on top of each other and it's right in your face. Dude. They need I'm, to make that bitch 4D. Dude, I'm fuck A. Hey, hey. But look down. Is your shirt still on? It's uh, like it, Watch again. Uh, quality. Me. How do you do a quality me? All right. Watch again. Are we, do we watch the same video? Yeah. I think so. You've seen this? No, I know. Hold I mean, up. I was watching a little bit, yeah. Okay, dude, this yeah, yeah. <laughs> dude, this is First of all. I'm going to get in the back of an Uber wearing that and be like, shut the fuck up. <sighs> Isn't that sad to open it and there's just four dudes just this staring sucks. at you? What the hell is this? But that's like, that's, a me- like, was that not crazy? You're in the real life, your wife's yelling at you and you're like, well, congratulations. Scarlet oh is about God. to blow my cock off in the metaverse. It is interesting to think about, like, because you talked about wow. your first porn stuff, like printing out a shitty picture on a piece of paper hiding piece in the bathroom. Paper. And not Someone's- even color, because my parents would know if I did too much color that I was printing out porn. Oh Someone's first porn experience was putting these goggles on. That's so wild. Yeah, that is a slippery slope. And by that, I mean, where do I buy it? Uh, real talk, like, that is, um, can't do that. Can't have that in my house. Uh, I mean, because here- Well, I'll take yours. <laughs> the, here's the problem. The problem is, once you do this, it's just, this, this is what porn is now. You can't yeah, go yeah, back. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So that's what I'm talking about. So you, you're on the road. You got to be, oh, let me make sure I have shirts and let me make sure I pack this to jerk off. And you're like, no, it's for uh, uh, the driving range. No, it's not. It's you to- can do other stuff on there? Yeah, you can play boxing games, all types of shit. No. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and so now uh, Fleshlight is also like linked up to but it. But that like, like you would look down and you're like, oh, this, I'm hitting, I'm having sex. This is like what it looks like. <sighs> it was so, so crazy. It, what it, website was that? That's that was on the hub? hub, so you can just play that for free. Hold on, I gotta. What in the hell? I gotta Google something. <sighs> yeah, that was, but that was like a like a highlight clip. Yeah, yeah. there we go. All right. <laughs> well, I wanted, yeah, I, I wanted mean, to come. That guy didn't even come. Well, I'm, that's how they get you. They don't, you know. I'm gonna be honest. Like I, you know how in um in video games <clears throat> you can like you can make a player. I want to make me in this fucking universe. Mm. I want to make me with a massive dog. Mm-hmm. Or a one that's like looks exact. Like this is what I would like to do, honestly. I'd like to take a picture of me naked and then upload it. And then so I'm actually fucking. So when I'm looking down, it's like that's for real my body, for real my dog. And then and then that the, felt honestly like like the dude had like one little like sunspot, like mole. And I was like, dude, I have a mole there. Is Birthmark? that your cock? Does that, that look like your me. cock? Wow, I mean, I'm no, I but like, like, like you're watching them and they're topping you off, but it's the motion is perfect. Like you look down, yeah, yeah, and it's it's it feels real. Yeah, it, like it if is. I, like if I took microdose.com gummies Uh-oh. and I was watching that, I mean, I'd sleep with that on, and it's an eye shade. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let that. I'm gonna come in my sleep. Seeing this in public is so funny. Yeah, you look. Stupid. Seeing it anywhere. You walk in your friend's house and they got that in the kitchen table. You're like, okay. Oh right, because now yeah. But yeah, I, I, th- I mean, this is. I didn't know it was that real. Right. I thought it was like just like okay. No, uh, no, no. That, I mean, that was like because I, I I've tried the one where you put like a phone in it, and that's the thing. But uh, that's like this is incredibly real. I wonder, like, the next step up from this is like that movie Her, right? Where you're like just dating someone in this shit. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? So you like work I would at, date someone in that. You work at like Arby's, and then you just go home and date a supermodel, and you're like a that's professional what I'm golfer. But like. I, I think that that's the route it's going to go. Dude, if you can release the same like endorphins and and uh, and like you have like lows and highs like in the metaverse, like you actually can live vicariously through that. There's no there's no world when you where you wouldn't do that. If you can if you can just put on glasses and all of a sudden like you're as famous as like Tiger Woods and you can like live that life and pay for stuff and whatever, like 
I understand the appeal of that. Would I rather be Tiger Woods famous or me? Sign me up. Like you just, you know what I mean? Like you, you just like playing tournaments and you like you live that life. It sounds incredible. I think that's what the metaverse is trying to do. Yeah. Just less tits. Less tits. Crazy. That was crazy. crazy. I mean, that was. I'm Mark Zuckerberg. I get it. The fact that, God, dude, that was like. You, like, is it a different lens or a different editing software? To film it's, that. Well, they film with a two camera rig with like a specific like kind of like 180 degree or 360 degree camera, camera, but they have two of them to make it 3D. And then, yeah, you have to, uh, like I know Premiere has a, has a VR editing mode now. So you can, I don't know if you edit with the headset on. It's so funny if you turned and pointed and you saw the camera guy there. <laughs> <Just> <laughs> well, dude, in the, with an Alexa rig. in the beginning of that, we were like working it. In the very beginning of the movie, you like, you were like literally like yeah, working the set. You got to knock on. No, but you know, d- I, I d- skipped that part. Oh, well, dude, I opened getting topped up. No, in the very beginning of the thing, you're like literally like you're holding like a light. That part sucks. Yeah, I'm not holding the light. <laughs> Hold my cock. There was two of them, two ladies. Hey, what's up? Didn't like the boobs though. Not gonna lie, you idiot. No, I thought they were great. Everything about it. That that was like that's something I would have watched too. So I'm sitting like this for a reason. I'm bricked yeah. up. Uh, but that was electric i'm and a big uh, i'm a big uh two girls top me off now it's been my last like four months of my life because now just the, the videos yeah there's like one girl topping me off in a video i'm like dude more absolutely more mm-hmm. just one girl one let me ask you this have you been able to uh beat the old carne asada in the new place <clears throat> have not oof where, i haven't come in a new place yet what I haven't come in it even i have whoa hold up you weren't home Okay. That's it was over the balcony. Different. <laughs> haven't <clears throat> haven't done it yet. Dude, I mean, you, you guys go to bed before, at the same time? Uh, no. She goes to sleep before me. But generally, I mean, dude, when you're moving, sometimes box is fucking out. We we don't have sheets on the bed yet. Like that's <laughs> that's the part of the move we're in right yeah, now. Yeah, cuz you came on them. 100%. I did. I like threw away like three hoodies I liked. I was like, I don't care. <laughs> D- goodbye. Goodbye. Right into a trash can. That's the funniest post network regret ever. Uh, nope. <laughs> nope. Um, well, all right. You guys yeah. want to do sock talk? Let's do it. Sure do. We got a wild one today. Uh-oh. It's a submission from Savannah. And, Love the name. And uh, it says, the other morning on my way home from work, I was a little horny, and I knew my boyfriend would be asleep when I got home. So I keep a vibrator in my bag most of the time. Well, I reached over and grabbed it. I put my car on cruise control and had both my legs <laughs> up on the seat, and I was using the vibrator, right? Well, recently I got a new car with zero tint on the windows. As I'm pulling onto my road, still playing with myself, my neighbor is at the stop sign and makes direct eye contact with me. I was traumatized, but figured that was the end of it. No, when I came home the next day, there was a note in my bail- mailbox from her that said, you might want to get your windows tinted. I know a guy. Should I say something or leave it alone? First of all, that's the best Tesla ad ever. <laughs> Autopilot. Oh my God. <laughs> that's Cruise crazy. control. Cruise control. I mean, I write down the it? fucking plate, dude. Write it down, title it up. Um, that's hot. I, I know I can't. Like, you know what's funny is I'm like conflating that with these women we just saw in this, and I'm putting one of those girls in like a like a Nissan Leaf, just fucking jacking her leaf off. That's what's in my head right now. Maybe what's in your head? You're looking over, and you're like, God damn, it must be a good ass song. She's just like, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, dude, is it is it one? Because in my head, this is crazy, but in my head, it's two legs up yeah. on the dashboard, and she's yeah. like, kinda, like, like she's, she's in her ass eating. Yeah, she's driving like this, and then rabbing. Why don't she just pull over? Sometimes when you're horned up, you just the adrenaline fuels you. Pulling over to jerk off just feels too like premeditated. I feel like you can get caught that way. Yeah, that Cops is. Cops are always walking up on steamy cars in the movie. What's going on in here? What do you think's going on in here? I'm trying to make a baby, dog. Fact. Blow a baby up, you. That's what I say sometimes. What? Yeah. I go, hey, I'm going to try to blow a baby up, you. (laughs) Put these back on. I would love to. Um, Dude, that is a, that's crazy. It's also really, it's surprisingly so hot to me. I'm like running through my brain of like what she was doing in the car. Yeah, 100%. Feet up. 100%. Hot. AC is at a First cool, of all, like, this, is, this is, sounds like it was nighttime. Uh, I think this was morning. Yeah, this is morning. I think this is broad, yeah, broad daylight. Okay. Oh, what? the boyfriend was still asleep? Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, I mean, sometimes you gotta get a, sometimes you gotta get a nut off in a Subaru. I mean, sometimes you have to do that. Yeah. Wow. It's also wild how she just keeps it in her purse. Is that a normal thing? Just keeps a dildo in her purse? Yeah, that's interesting. She's looking for like five gum. She's like, Bruh. well, looks like our table's ready. Funny. <laughs> that is funny. Um, if I'm the boyfriend, I'm like, whoa, 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 whoa. Nah, sometimes Carry I'm like, me in your purse. I, sometimes I'm like, just go. I got do shit to do. Yeah, do your thing. Yeah, do your thing. I just, you know, it's all good. Do your thing. God, that's that's uh, that's uh, that's hot. Congrats. First of all, the neighbor, I'd put a note in there and be like, "Shut up, bitch! Give me five dollars. That's my OnlyFans." Hundred percent. Also, neighbor, uh, you it, may want to put ten on. Shut up. Just sure. enjoy the view, you idiot. Yeah. Why don't you stop your car and jerk off too? Yeah. It's not yeah. my fault. You hate your husband. You haven't came since fucking Todd came out of your pussy. Babies be named Todd. Yeah, they come out and they go, that's a Todd. No, it's not. Backwards, it's a dot. <laughs> I would be so excited if I saw somebody jerking off next to me. I would, I, here's, I, well, what would you do? Realistically, you're at a light. She's I, going to town. I would, I would honk and then say, can I join? That's what I would do. Not bad. Yeah. And then you look in the back seat and there's a camera guy and he goes, No. Oh man, what if you look in the backseat? There's a baby back there. God damn. Hold <laughs> up. <laughs> Talk about VR. <laughs> yeah, I, I call child protective service. 100%. Get that baby out of that. Now it's just me and her in that car. Come on, girl. Oh yeah. That's oh wild. yeah. Dude, pussy just be looking good. Sometimes I look at a vagina on the goddamn porn. I'm like, put it in my mouth. Put it in my mouth. Yeah. Put it in a sauce that pan. versus what looks down there, you know? Yeah. I've I never looked this. at one cock in my life and been like, put it in my mouth. <laughs> never, never. Hey, the night is young. That's you know? what I'm saying, dude. I got yeah. at least 40 more years of my life. Give me, get, I might I might see a beautiful one, just shove it in there. But at this point, no. But I'm saying most vaginas I see, I'm like, give it to me. Yeah. Well, but think about it. You know, like if you were going on to be on a TV show, you'd probably get a haircut, right? Yeah. So you're about to put your dick online. You're going to shape them up. I hear you saying. Those porn stars, three weeks before the shoot, <laughs> shit looks like a Chia pet that went through a, <laughs> a damn razor factory. That's true. So it's like, it's your big day. You know? Well, that's why porn stars probably go bald. They don't have to worry about that. They're like, let me just manscape this up down there. But even when I shave all my shit down there, I'm like, eh, this. It looks fine. It looks you know. fine. Do you think there's like one dude who's like a professional uh, pubic hair uh, stylist? That probably. all the stars call? There Manscaped. has to be someone else. Does there. Manscaped still sponsor this podcast? Yeah. Good. Them. Them. Do it. Um, I wouldn't worry about the neighbor. I wouldn't say anything. Neighbor's a fucking narc. Shut up. 100%. She so works for fucking PETA. I would call the city and I'd ask for the cameras from the lights. Yeah. Somebody read a red, red light, hit you? No. I need some other footage. Evidence. Foot. Footage. Let's go to the next one. Feet. You really be liking feet, huh? Sir, <laughs> I looked at my girl's feet today. She was like going through a, an issue at work or something. I don't know. I wasn't paying attention. But she... and you just you just saw feet in it. You're like, put it in my mouth. No, she was just, dude. I, I like these. Like this sounds kind of crazy, but like you know those long like flowing dresses. Do you know what I mean? Like sun dresses or whatever. This is the second dress reference in one episode. Sun. I just I don't know why. Like these long dresses, I really fucking like. And she was wearing this like long white dress with like a belt. And she like was not trying to like look hot, but she didn't have any socks on. And she was like, tell me about something that was happening at work. And her like legs were crossed. And so I was just like, like, yeah, dude, totally fucking. I can't believe Gerard would do that, dude. That's fucking. And I just looked down, white toenail polish, hard. Yeah, let's go into a little uh secret, little secret sock. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, this is an anonymous submission that says, Secret Sock, if it's acceptable. I once gave up all forms of sexual contact for Lent one year. Boo. I went on a date with a guy about two-thirds through the way, two-thirds of the way through Lent, and I was super horned up at the end. I went home, and I just couldn't get him out of my head, and I had to jerk off. I don't know how it happened, but I came when I wasn't even fully hard. I was only like 30% there, still very much flaccid, and I just came. So yeah. flaccid coming. I get it. You slipped out of first gear. Couldn't make it a second. We've all been there. It happens to the best of us. Yeah, I mean, Dude, I've come in many a Levi's, not really hard. Dude, like a al dente. Not fully al dente, but I'm saying about sixty percent there. Not yeah. like a full erect. Not like a baseball bat. You know, just it like, is funny when you try to put like you're like soft, like you're not fully chubbed up, and you're mm -hmm. trying to put it in there. It just doesn't. 
Because when you're rocked up, it slides right in. Right. But when it's, you know, you're. Yeah, you need a fucking shoehorn. <laughs> You've been drinking or it's a round two stuff and it's just kind of not hitting. Blue chew. Uh, it, it is funny. You're kind of just smashing oh, yeah. around. You feel like you're looking for a door when it's dark. You just. Yeah. How come your eyes don't work at night? I mean, get they, better. But you, well, they have to like acclimate to it. You know what I'm saying? Acclimate. That's that's like Son, one of my five big words. You've been kind of killing big words recently. The last like two, three episodes. Really? Yeah. yeah you hit us with an alluding earlier. Alluding. That was crazy. But that's just, you, you stole from me. But yeah. That's just, <laughs> yeah. No, I, I'm, I'm pretty smart. As, I don't know if you, you guys are. are catching this. Um, but yeah. Yeah. If you're just like, uh, you just, just trying to shove it in there. You're kind of praying a bit too. Look it down your penis like, bro, do not fail me right now. Some. Like you got hard because a leaf hit me two days ago. Mm -hmm. And you can't get hard? Work. Work. But yeah, um, yeah, dude. I mean, listen, I've been there a hundred times coming off it up, especially if you haven't come in a while. And Lent, Catholicism's hot in some weird way. And you just hopefully it was a good one. It has sometimes you, you wait too long and it's just the the nut itself is uh it's too heavy. You ever have one it of those doesn't moments? really it kind of just crawls out. <laughs> you ever have one of these moments <laughs> where like you're trying like you're you're jerking off or you're fucking and then you don't, you're like about to come and you're trying to stop it, but it's too late. And then you come. It's like, those are the one of the worst comes ever. You like ruin your own come. Like, no, no, that, that, uh, that, bleh, and you're like, ugh. Yeah, for it an was, extra 14 seconds. Yeah, it wasn't enjoyable for her. It wasn't enjoyable for you. It's like, what, what a waste. Mm -hmm. I could have just put on Oculus and jerked off the fucking lizards. <laughs> <laughs> Damn. Now that's switching to Geico. <laughs> I'm buying one of these today. Like, that's for real insane. You're buying one. I'm taking one for fucking Jack. How much was this? Free. That's it? $200 to ruin my life and never look <laughs> at a beautiful relationship or a woman again? No. I, I, I Here's the thing. I would want it like a custody. You know? You get it Wednesday through Friday, and I get it on a Sunday through Monday. Saturday, nobody gets it. <laughs> here's the thing. Saturday, though. that's a downtime. <laughs> here's the thing, though. Remember when we got the fre fleshlights and both of us were like, wow, this is fucking not a good thing to have in the house. And we both fucked it until it like just it was into oblivion. But but the thing is, you get to a point, dude, I haven't even thought about the fleshlight in forever. Like you. It's well, like, you're in a relationship. Yeah. But even before I was in a relationship, like it would just it's there. I mean, I can fuck it anytime I want. That, but like, well, it's yeah. just, it, you're just, it, you kind of get over it. I think this might be a thing you like two weeks, like, whoa. And I think you might just be like, oh, it's not charged. And you just go on porn up again. You're fine. And you just, yeah. Like, well, if I ever come in and then there's an imprint on my hair down the middle, <laughs> just know what's going on. It is a really funny thing because when I had that on, I had no perception of where you guys were, what was yep. going on. How funny is that to walk in on your roommate? And he's got his cock in one hand, the control in the other. And he's like, give it to me, Margaret. And then just, yeah, do you have rent money? Like a, a, being yeah. a landlord, walking in on that, hilarious. Being a dad walking in on your kid has that. Dude. I'm stealing money and leaving. Oh, imagine breaking into a house. That's got to happen. Somebody's broken into a house while somebody's jerking off or had this on. Yep. Huh, this is really real. 4D. Yep. Who's touching my leg? Dude, the moment that my kid asked for one of these, Oh, All right. Yeah, there's no way. You, 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 yeah. you have to start wearing like a like a Super Mario t-shirt three months in advance before asking. It's for video games. I'm a nerd. No. No. What is this for? I think. Mario Tennis? I think it's video games and porn. And reverse the order. They have a sad thing. <laughs> it's actually kind of cool, but the idea is sad where you can put it on and have it be like you can look at your computer screen, but like uh, blown up to any size you want. So you're like, oh, this is my computer screen, but I'm working in a movie theater. And so it looks like everything's on a giant screen in front of you. How's that sad? Well, it's just like, you know, I don't know. Like you're just like, oh, I'm at a beach, but really you're just like in your fucking tiny apartment, you know? I, I will say though, and I think I might have read this over the pandemic that people were using these because they were so like trapped in their apartment they were using these to like just f like it really helped to feel like you're outside it or, did like, feel stuff. crazy different like i yeah. felt like i was in encino in a shitty leased out zillowed apartment <laughs> piping it up with no ac on was there sound did i miss the sound uh, no sound there's got to be sound I, I need to hear that well there's a headphone jack on the side god hold up damn yeah, that's crazy. Is this through Bluetooth? Yeah. Has to. 
It shows fucking 3D cock. I'm going to put one of those on and start riding a horse. What type of horse? (laughs) That was crazy. I've never done any VR. I did the boxing. And that was like honestly fun. I like like sweating. Like yeah. actually go for I mean, a good workout. This has. Imagine if your homie had one, you borrowed it, and he had like a, a Nike sweatband imprinted on it. <laughs> and you're like, oh, you've been doing a lot of yoga and fitness. He goes, what? You can do that. <laughs> but that's actually, yo, like going to a yoga class in this would. That's great. Yeah, it'd be cool actually. That's part like, dude, you can go to like a yoga class. Yeah, but you take in like Tahiti or something. Oh yeah, I just I'd sit up and just eat some. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that's crazy. <clears throat> but yeah. like the difference of reality, like that's what you're saying. It was like, it's kind of sad. It helps, but it doesn't. It's like the more it helps, the farther it pushes you away from reality because you're feeling trapped. You're in your apartment. You put those on. You feel like you're a king. You feel like you're in this different empire. And then you take it off and you still have stray cats roaming through your apartment. And you yeah. still have an AC unit that doesn't work, but use that as a nightstand sometimes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, so why wouldn't you want to live in there? If, That's what if, I was saying before. No one wanted to talk to me about it. Well, we're still thinking about you trying to pipe your grandma out. But, but I, literally, but like, I had an entire diatribe about this. No one no said we anything. about it. No, I was like, golf, and you come back with it. And then I was, was too like, horny. Think about tits. That's crazy. But like, that's, wouldn't you, if you hated your job and your living situation was whatever, that's your escape. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, dude, that, I, that, yes. I mean, there's probably one that like you can like sit in like a, like a nice Kia Sorento, like a 2023 and be like, whoa, heat seaters. Dude, 100%. Like you can most likely, uh, you know, look at apartments with this. You can look at cars with this. Yeah, okay. Like I've all the Instagram stuff. filter or TikTok, but it's like for real, just the inside of a Ferrari. Yes. Yes. It, it looks real. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Less tits than this, but I mean, that's the direction we're going. Yeah. That's so funny. We're finding ways to make life better than life. Yeah. And that's just the a foot in the door. Because now you buy the fleshlight that sinks. And then you got velvet pants you're wearing when you do it. They're calling you I, sir or something stupid. Stupid. Let me tell you a secret. You get a fleshlight that can actually move. Like that moves to the rhythm of the VR. Then I'm not leaving my apartment. They have that? Yeah, they have it. What, what is it? It's like it's called flashlight launch, I think. There's one that looks like you know what scuba divers hold. It's like a motor. There's one that you like hold down there and it just goes to the town on your cock. I mean, what is going on? Nothing good. I mean, literally. If, if you're a female, are you? And, and your man is constantly doing that. That's got to be a problem, right? Yeah. You're like, I'm here. What about me? And you're like, oh yeah, but yeah, no. but you smell like funyuns. Like I don't want that. I love funyuns. Funyuns are so good, but I don't want my no, girlfriend. But, to but that's like, I mean, Jesus Christ! What is this? Interactive VR porn. The handy, whatever the hell that said, Karoo. It's the Karoo flashlight launch. It's funny to have like a GoFundMe for these. But yeah, so I guess what it like if you look at this little animation wait, here, it wait the it, website is sexlikereal.com. Jesus Christ, that shit's that's so horny. Uh, sex like real, ready to go. But yeah, I guess all these videos are are synced up to it. So like she's jerking you off. Oh, but and it goes to the motion of it. Yeah, God, that's like damn. when the LED lights sync with the music. It is like that. better. Yeah. So yeah, I mean, this is fucking. Is crazy. everyone just horned up right now in this room? I'm oddly not. I'm intrigued. Once you guys yeah, leave for either. lunch, oh yeah, I'm lunch. borrowing these I'm fucking starving. The second they said Guardian, whatever the hell, oh, I knew I was gonna blow something out of my cock. <laughs> Cocks are like muskets; you gotta reload them. Yeah, that's so weird. <laughs> I'm telling you, what came thank- first, the cock or the musket? Both. Let me tell you a secret. <laughs> I've said it before, and I'll say it again. I am so happy that whoever made us, the the God or whoever the fuck, that they he they gave us a reset button. Control delete. Jesus Christ! Can you imagine Refresh. if we didn't have this? Dude, are you kidding me? I'd be fucking, well, I'd be up, fucking a, 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 a goddamn brick in Chase Bank. <laughs> <laughs> imagine giving up nutting for Lent. I think you have to nut. You have to. You either need to go to betterhelp.com backslash socks or you have to nut or you do what Michael and I, the geniuses do, and you do both. Yeah. Just yeah. don't do them too close. You nut before therapy, it's pointless. There's no point to be there. Dude, are you, are you, if I didn't nut for three days, I'd go to a zoo and kill a hippopotamus. Like, it would be not okay. <laughs> it would be not okay. It's so funny. The second you nut, you're like, oh, there, there, there's the old Trev. Yeah. There's, there he is. Hey, knock, knock. Horniness is gone. Gone. And it evaporates. It's like at the end of a war scene or like, a, like a, when they tear down the city and there's still like the smoke like kind of clearing yeah. and they're like, all has been restored. Penis. Well, moral of the story, <laughs> uh, you guys are going to go to lunch. I'm going to borrow these and um, 
yeah, I'm just going to probably watch a couple like NBA highlights from like, you know, the early Bulls days. Yep. I'm going to watch WNBA and take their. All right, guys, <laughs> that's it. That's it. Thank you so much for fucking coming on this goddamn roller coaster with us. Stiff Socks Podcast, another one in the goddamn bank. Guys, we uh, thank you so much for listening and watching. Please go on Spotify and uh, Apple and subscribe and fucking review. It really helps us out in the charts and stuff. Um, go on YouTube, watch all our clips. That really helps us out as well. We also, a friendly reminder, we have a Patreon. Four extra episodes ad-free. Drops every Friday. Only $5 a month. Goddamn, $5. I mean, what? That's like the, the price. This is less expensive than a goddamn cappuccino. You know, patreon.com backslash stiff socks pod. And uh, yeah, go subscribe. And uh, guys, we love you. Have a great mother effing day. Bye.